Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to a vlog. It is going to be home vlog and it's already afternoon. We're a little behind. It is a rainy, gross day. So other than making the trip to McDonald's for the frappe, I am home. Um, and now I'm in the basement. We have walked together to the basement. Ah. And, oh, I'm down here to do laundry, of course. But um, I was going to see about pulling a few things, something that I could just list easy on eBay. Um, What is it? I have like nothing else. Let me start a vlog and I have nothing to tell you. I'm in my basement and just staying near like a boo. Anyway, but I have been working on a new project and that is an Etsy sticker shop. I've always wanted, you guys know I love stickers. And I heard about this whole like Etsy sticker shop thing. And people do it two ways. Number one is they design their own products and print them at home. Like with the Cricut machines. And they've got, I mean, I think I've talked about this before. They've got like, I saw a video where they had like an entire wall of bookcases. And every shelf had a Cricut. And it was just like, ring, 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 popping out sticker sheets. Mainly for people that do planners. So like, you know, all the little stickers that you use if you have a planner that say things on them. Anyway, and then there's the other version where you have your stickers outsourced. You either design them completely yourself or you buy graphics um, and have them printed. So that's what I'm doing. I, I'm not a designer. So I purchase graphics that are meant for this type of thing. I do a little bit of altering to them with colors and whatnot. And then I process the file and I outsource it to then print them because they're like the vinyl sticker things. Um, and then I'm listing them on Etsy and people, obviously they collect, but a lot of people like to get them because they put them on things like laptops, water bottles, tumblers, you know, they stick them on stuff. So anyway, I've been having fun playing around with that. That's like my, I need a hot, I need hobby. So I've got like my coloring books. That's a hobby. Um, I mean, I do sell them too, but I like to color. And so I've been getting back into that. And of course I love stickers and I'm like, well, this will be a fun little project. Plus... I have decided that I will be working on books about how to do a coloring book business and another book about how to do an Etsy sticker shop. So I'm of course of how to write those books. I need to go through the whole thing of how to do it. I really, I'm realizing I really need to put my effort when it comes to my books into nonfiction books because I get asked for the information all the time. So it's like, well, I do the eBay books, YouTube books. I have an Amazon KDP book. Um, as I explore different things and learn about them, then I get enough knowledge to write a book. So I'm not going to write a book about stuff I don't know about. I'll get people like, why don't you write a book about this, that? I'm like, but I don't do that. So why wouldn't write a book? When I write books, I write them totally from my own perspective of how I do it. Step by step, this is how you do it. Um, just not like this general, Ooh, I want to, you know, they're, they're very detailed guidebooks, step by step of how to do things. So... That being said, um, I'll turn the camera. I don't know if I've shown you an update of the collecting situation in my basement, but I will show you that. I'll do some laundry. And then I did get some stuff in the mail today for the stickers. So I will then show you that. Okay. And we have the garbage on a pink chair. I always, somebody will ask me about this chair. I got this at Staples years ago. I was going in there looking for a new office chair. These were out front on clearance and I got it. Um, so that's the pink chair office, um, Staples, Office Max. They always used to ha usually have a lot of chairs. I've got my Disney World situation here, which is a mess. I know I did get these. Um, these are Funko brand and I actually got some extra to save back um, to resell later. Not a lot, just a couple extra each because they do go up in value. So here we have Tower of Terror. We have Space Mountain. We have Cinderella's Castle, and we have Epcot, and oh, we go over here, and we've got the Tree of Life. I think this is the set that they have. I don't know if there are any more, but these are Funko brand. Funko brand plushies from Walt Disney World's 50th. I'm never going to get to go to Disney World again. <laughs> Ah! Okay, so here's what the shelves look like, as you can see. I've got um, the Squishmallows. I've got Funkos. This is the stuff I'm keeping. Um, all that's keep. I've got the Crackle Glass um, down there. 
because I don't want to list it. I'm just going to keep it. And then I've got little figurines I'm going to keep. This is general Christmas stuff that I still need to go through. More Christmas figurines. What I'm kind of doing with the Christmas vintage that I'm keeping is I'm going to put it up here, <laughs> like quote unquote display it um, instead of putting it away for Christmas because then it just gets smushed up. So anyway, just the little collections there. I've got some Halloween, got character glasses because I'd like to, you know what's funny? And I'm sure if you're a child of the 80s, too. You had all the glasses and then we got rid of them. And now we're adults. I'm like, I want my glasses back. I want my Smurf collection back. So when I'm out and about and I see those, I pick those up. We've got some mugs, thermos stuff. I've got a little Garfield bin, trolls bin, peanuts bin, books. I've got just little random bits of toys that I'll pick up, advertising, pug stuff, um, that was displayed and then I cleaned the shelf off and now I haven't put it back because I want a different shelf. We've got Barbies, dolls, <laughs> got some little plush here. Um, down there is just like, I'm like, I don't even know what to do with this. Where did that even come from? Little toys that I picked up sometimes, like I've said, I will get extras of things and hold on to them. Um, eventually they'll gain a little value and I can resell them. These little calico critters. I'm hoping that maybe I can find a calico uh, critter dollhouse, like at a garage sale or something. And so I get those little furniture pieces. These, those come from Aldi. Some little calico dolls. Again, dolls. Um, I've got all these Zoom Zooms um, that I've picked up. And again, I have duplicates. So when they increase in value. We've got some Dorables here. Cut Smurfs. These are not my Smurfs. My Smurfs are in a different container. We've got Little People. Play School. Fisher Price. Whatever. We have Beanie Babies. The Minis. We have some plush. And we have dolls. Because like, I just gotta keep that creepy grandpa head there. And then I have my mini brands there. And yeah, for the most part, if it's on the shelf, it's not for sale. So including poor Cabbage Patch Girl here, Snack Time Kid, because these were the ones that were recalled because the they you can put like little food pieces in there. There's no mechanism to stop the mouth. So kids were getting their fingers and hair eaten. So she cannot be resold. So she's going to live with me forever. And then all of these die cut things. So anyway... That's the collection. And, oh, I know I showed you these before that I got at Menards. Again, saving because this stuff will for sure go up in value. So that's my rule when it comes to collecting. Number one, I have to love it. Like, do I love it? And number two, if I have to sell it, can it be resold to at least get my money back? Like if I had to get the money or is it something that I think will also appreciate in value? So I love it. I know I could resell it now, but I also know it'll appreciate in value. So that's an investment. All my cute little squishmallows. I love squishmallows. I haven't gotten any in a few weeks because it's just been gross and rainy. Seems like when it starts and I never want to go out. And then my little Funkos. I got this. If you're someone who collects this little riser thing. Um, for the little mini Funkos. I just got that on Amazon. I think I'll put it in my Amazon store. I have a section on there, uh, collectibles and toys. I also do have number two of him. I don't know where he went. He fell under a cabinet or something, but I have him. So his space is there. We will find you, my friend. But I love this little riser. So any kind of like small collectibles. It also worked great for figurines. So hopefully I can get some more um, eventually when I decide like, I want to display the little figurines. I don't know. Works really well. Anyway, I'm going to go do some laundry and then I'll show you what came um, for more stickers today. What I'm kind of doing with my sticker business. Okay, I have my new tripod light thing going. So we're lit up a little better. Um, so yeah, in my office, I'm going to I have stuff to unwrap, stuff to show you. Oh, and the thing I hate is that this table is not steady. It's a card table, but it's not very steady. So apologies if you shake around. Oh my gosh, let me move you up a little bit. Now I'm all shiny. 
How's this? Are we okay? Good. Wanted to show you some of the coloring books. Now I'm re, I've taken down, I took down all but one coloring book and then I completely redid that book. So I redid the Cakes and Cupcakes coloring book. So it's the same listing, but it's all new pages inside. So if you did get this one, it is completely new and it's only on Amazon. The coloring books are only on Amazon. Now I'm not putting them on Etsy. Um, and then a brand new one is Butterflies. You can see there. You know what's interesting when you're doing books or anything, you wanna make sure nothing's trademarked. So I wanted to call this Beautiful Butterflies, right? But Beautiful Butterflies trademarked from a small company. I, I don't know what they do. Would they come after me for trademark infringement? highly unlikely, but still I'm like, nope, not going to do it. So that's why I name things just plain because there's no room for trademark. Like butterflies is a word, you know, you can use. It's not beautiful butterflies. And same with cats and kittens. Um, you know, oh, here we go. This is a brand new listing. I did have a cat's coloring book, but this is an all new um, listing. So I've redone all the images. So there is no issue with, well, the issue really was with the Etsy printables and somebody, you know, coming after me for licensing when I have the license, but they have a license too, because we both bought the same. I don't know what happened because Etsy still hasn't told me, but I don't want any overlap between what's on Amazon and what's on Etsy. So two separate things. And those are the books. So more coloring books to come, but that is what's going on with coloring books. And now let's talk stickers. Here's my little case so far of the stickers that I have listed on Etsy. You're shaking again. I'm so sorry. I gotta figure that out. Maybe if I put you on another surface, it might work better another time. Okay, so the first one I have are these holographic stickers. They're three inch and it's the classic gumball. If you were a kid of the eighties, you know, you had these things. Now there's two in here. I just have them like back to back. So I already have them bagged up, ready to go. Look at that. I love it. Oh my God. The prism. I think that's what we call them in the eighties. Prisms. Oh, I love it. So I've got these on Etsy and my biggest thing right now is figuring out how to sort and store these things. Then I have the large five inch, big as your hand, gumball. Um, this is not holographic. This is just your regular vinyl. So vinyl sticker. So the big five inch gumball machine. Then I have this cute little set. It's again, a pack of two. Cause this is the other thing with the pricing. Like some people have their stickers up and they'll have like $2 plus shipping. I'm like, so I'm doing two stickers and then the shipping is free. It works out a little better. So how cute, it's like a kawaii design with the pug and the kitten in the Christmas stockings. This is, I had this because I ordered a sample. So I know it's Christmas, but I decided to put it up. And then another two pack, <laughs> look at this pug. It's a three inch wide vinyl sticker. Again, it's a pack of two. I just thought that was a better value than just selling one sticker each. Um, for these smaller ones. So, oh my gosh, I love him. He's so adorable. So that is, those are the stickers that are listed as I'm making this video. Then I bought a pack of these craft envelopes, craft paper envelopes on Amazon. And that's what I ship in. You're gonna move here, hang on a sec. Ah, sorry, sorry. And then I bought different size of clear bags. Now, of course, I use larger clear ones in my eBay business for like clothing and whatnot, but I've got these five by sevens. And then I got four by six. And then this one, these are like a three by five. So I put the stickers in here and then put it in the envelope to safely ship it off and one sticker I think like up to three or four stickers is still under an ounce, so it can go via um, with a stamp. So I just got some more stickers in. I'm not sure what, which ones these are. Let's open them up. And, ooh, they're not loose in here, are they? 
What are these? Oh, okay. This was another test I did of a sticker. I like the, the um, die cut ones. I did a test of these, just the round stickers with those vintage roller skates. I love these, but these are the, I like the die cut better. I'll put these up. I'll, I'll put them like in a two or three pack. I got to look at the cost to see which is better, but they are three inch. They're nice, big round sticker. Let me know. Do you like the round or like square or do you like the, um, you know, when it's die cut and it's all the way around? Let me know which one you prefer. Just, you don't even have to be a sticker person. Just do you like the look of the round or the die cut? So I've got these, so I need to get those listed. Then I ordered some more supplies from Amazon. Oh, okay, that's Vistaprint. This is a shelf. I'm trying, this is the thing, I'm trying to figure out how to store the sticker. So I need to put this together. It's basically kind of like this, but for sunglasses. So the slots are gonna be bigger. But then at the same time, I like to put them in the bag so they're ready to go. So when there's a sale, I can just grab it. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there. Um, and then I got some, why are these perforated in the middle? What is going on here? That is not how this is supposed to be. I do not think. These are supposed to be labels to put through the printer. Oh, why is it perforated? Because it was in a box. So the mailing labels, because I wasn't sure how I, so there's six on a pack here. That seems a little big, but I'll use them. So hopefully, you know, I'll get to a point where I have several orders in a day and I can put you know, do them all at the same time. That'll be the goal. Okay, then I ordered some promo items from Vistaprint. I changed my Etsy store name. It used to be Annabelle's Vintage or something like that to match my eBay store. But then when I was doing the printables and now the stickers, I changed it to match my, that other pen name, which is Jean Lee Publishing that I use on Amazon. So I changed it. And I had nothing, seriously, <laughs> it's paper. Why do we have all of this in here? Um, I changed it. So what the heck is this? Got a fancy little box for the thank you cards, I believe, that I'm going to put in here or put in the orders. Let's see how they turned out. Ooh, okay. So there's the thank you card. Thank you for your order, Jean Lee Publishing, the website. Because on the website, I have the links to the books on Amazon and then the stickers on Etsy and I have individual, like if you just want to go to the coloring books, you just want to go to the guided journals, all that. So yeah, and then Facebook and Instagram handle. Those will be my enclosure cards. Whoa, and some fell on the floor. Oh, they included a stand with Ukraine. I love that. A stand with Ukraine. If you are not a stand with Ukraine, I am not your person. Then I got some return address labels. You know, again, I got those labels to print out, but then I have these two um, and I have my PO box on here. And then what else did I order? What are these? Oh, yes. These are thank you series. Yes. And I'll link this to print below. I use them for all my promotional stuff and my Christmas cards I have yours. Just a I can only thank you for your business. It's very small to see. Jean Lee Publishing, thank you for your order just to put on the back of the envelope to make it look a little fancier. So I've got my seals, I've got my return address labels, I've got my enclosure cards, and now I have to pop a bunch of these. I know you could say, why don't you just save them for your eBay orders? I don't think I have anything that would require these. So anyway, yeah, um, now I get, oh, I'm gonna put this shelf together and we'll see what that looks like. All right, so here's what this looks like. So this is for more like sunglasses and this was for business cards. So obviously um, much deeper and holds everything in. 
But like I said, I like to keep things. Oh, okay. This could work. Okay, okay. We can make this work, I think. Maybe not for, probably have those like that. Probably won't keep the mega ones in there. But for that size in the bags, I think that'll work. So yeah, this is just for sunglasses. Like I said, this is for business cards, but I definitely like the sunglass one better and it just snapped in. So yeah, I will put this in my, um, maybe I'll put this in like in my reseller supply section of my store where I have all my business supplies. I'll do that, but I think this will work. There we go. I mean, I only have four listings up. I need to do these, but to get started, I think this will work. Yay, I like it. I have a sale, I could grab it. Somebody buys multiples, I can easily grab it. And then envelope, I'll get my other supplies ready and it'll all be together. All right, here's my little setup. I got my envelopes, my business card, or thank you cards, the seals and the address labels there, the stickers there. These um, for when I get new stickers. And then these are the mailing labels, which I'm still not sure. I don't know, I'm, I'm not gonna waste these just by printing one and then you run it back through and it can kind of get warped. But if I get to the point where I'm having, you know, six or more orders in a day, they will be um, handy. So welcome to my sticker shop. I love it. <laughs> it's just fun, just something fun to do. Okay, so before I end today's vlog, I thought I would show you my Amazon store, which suddenly, I don't know why it looks like all spread out like this, but like my head, face is now like smushed and wider. I don't know, maybe it's just my screen, but I did want to show you, um, I do have the resellering, uh, bleh, reselling supplies here. So added in those little plastic baggies and the, um, sunglass thing that I showed you. I need to go in there and add in the, um, envelopes, but I will do that. And then this is my toys and collectibles section you can see I put that stand there so if you are a collector of anything you know a little smaller I really do like that and then if I buy something on Amazon that's a toy or collectible I put it there and of course we have the blank journals and notebooks the guided journals coloring and activity books household and pet my business books planners notebooks my favorite books and some t-shirts I <laughs> made back in the day these like never sell Let's see, I break for estate sales, I break for rummage sales, I break for yard sales, and I break for garage sales. Those are all on there. So anyway, with that, I am going to go ahead now and end today's vlog. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Of course, make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.